Hello, Father James Kubicki here, and I have to tell you that I love the fact that today, the day after Valentine's Day, the Church honors the memory of a saint who is dedicated to a heart that makes all of the paper valentines and boxes of candy shaped like hearts pale in comparison. That heart which surpasses all others? The Sacred Heart of Jesus. And who is the saint whom we honor today and who is truly an apostle of the Sacred Heart? A French Jesuit by the name of Claude de la Colombière, who was St. Margaret Mary's spiritual director. Remember, it was St. Margaret Mary to whom Jesus appeared in the late 1600s and revealed his heart all on fire with love for humanity, an image that now appears on pictures and statues everywhere. St. Claude didn't have an easy life. He suffered failure, was arrested and thrown into a damp prison in England, and eventually died when he was only 41. Here's a prayer of his that obviously comes right from his own struggles. Jesus, you are my true friend, my only friend. You take a part in all my misfortunes. You take them on yourself. You know how to change them into blessings. You listen to me with the greatest kindness when I relate my troubles to you, and you have always balm to pour on my wounds. I find you at all times. I find you everywhere I go. You are never weary of listening to me. You are never tired of doing me good. I am certain of being beloved by you if I love you. However miserable I may be, no one nobler or wiser or even holier can come between you and me and deprive me of your friendship. And death, which tears us away from all other friends, will unite me forever to you. Jesus, grant that I may die praising you, that I may die loving you, that I may die for the love of you.